Hello everybody, it's Star here, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in Star Wars Canon, where every week you can expect me to break it all down for you guys from the comics, the novels, the TV series, and anything else that ties back into the films that we all know and love. So this week I was able to get back to my local comic book store to pick up physical comics. So this week I have two comics I will be talking about. The first one is Dr. Aphra. This is issue number 18, and this is part 5 of the remastered arc. And we have Dr. Aphra, who has been blackmailed by triple zero to go to this imperial base and get this information that he wants so in order for her to get there she actually kidnaps Harrison Dula yeah that's right Hera from Star Wars Rebels is now a prisoner to Afra and she uses Hera to get into this base basically and this base is part of the Tarkin initiative and it's got all these very creepy kind of cobbled together droids and different experiments so what happens is they basically get to the end and they get double crossed by Aphra's uh, kind of a lover, I guess, or lo you know, love interest, which is of Tolvin, Captain Tolvin. So, and we see basically at the end of this issue, she's about to retrieve this information, and we have these imperials that kind of storm in. So, talking about the things that I liked about this issue is first off, we get an explanation of Doctor Evazon. Yes, that's the guy who has a death sentence in 12 systems. Yes, that guy who was actually a cameo in Jeddah on in Rogue One. So we actually see him in a holographic form because we have this these two characters, Tam Pazla and Kaysen. And Tam Pazla is this awesome like outlaw kind of he used to be a cop basically. And you know, he's been disgraced. So anyway, he kind of goes into the spiel about how you know, on Jeddah there's this experiment going around and Kaysen is that headless uh, robot thing. <laughs> That's actually the first prototype of Dr. Evazan. And, and so Tam Pazla's mission is to basically get revenge and take out uh, Dr. Evazan. And we don't know where he is after A New Hope, so maybe we'll see him post A New Hope. That'd be really cool if we actually see him in this. So something that I enjoyed immensely was seeing... Dr. Aphra actually trick the Rebels. They had that train flight facility. That's where they got Hera. And they were after Hera. She has a beacon, you know, on her insignia rank. So they were actually able to turn it on for a second for the battleship to come into range of this Imperial Research Facility, which is, you know, it's kind of guarded by this, like, nebulous kind of stuff that's poisonous. So, you know, Aphra does this amazing feat where she's able to kind of coordinate this this attack between the empire and the rebels which are aboard this lucre hulk yes that's the battle stations from the droids era of the prequel trilogy and they are kind of fighting and and that's how afra is able to get aboard this ship she has Hera there just to barter with them but she knows that the empire wouldn't really barter with an outlaw like her Something else I really liked, and going back to Tam Pazla, is seeing him literally go into this Transformer mode. I was very unexpected. I thought Tam Pazla was a humanoid. Apparently, he isn't. So, that to me was pretty badass, because we've already seen him go crazy as far as it's concerned with caring about Case and his love interest. If she's ever in danger, he goes berserk, because normally he's very non-pliable when it comes to agreeing with what Dr. Aphra is doing. And he is basically taking this job with her just to get enough money to go and try to find Dr. Evazon for information. So it was nice seeing him just go completely crazy with that Transformer mode. Another thing that I thought was pretty good is that they're continuing this kind of love relationship type thing between Afra and Tolvin, like tough love. Tolvin pretty much sets up Afra and has them captured and you see her reaction and she's kind of ashamed of it she I guess was thinking out of instinct and now she kind of regrets doing that and the last thing I want to talk about is the cool mashup of aliens in this Tarkin initiative this is basically where Afro goes is the dump the dump ground basically of all the rejected pro uh, you know prototypes and whatnot so you see like a Wookiee body with a turret for a head you see freaking hut clones that is awesome and you know it's just it's just creative seeing like the k2 units and whatnot and we do see death troopers at the end i don't think we've seen enough death troopers in the star wars in the star wars comics so it's always great seeing them and you know they were gonna be there because the Tarkin initiative and if you look into the rogue one 
uh, visual dictionary, they're listed in there as being part of the Tarkin Initiative. So maybe that's kind of where they came from. So I hope to learn more about the Death Troopers. This would be the story, hopefully, to learn more about that. Because I know there's a couple people there around that I know personally that want to know more about the history of the Death Trooper program. And the other comic that came out this week is from IDW. This is Star Wars Adventures issue number eight. The first story here is a continuation. It's Endangered Part 2, and this is a Star Wars Rebel story. So we have the Ghost Crew trying to get this different type of bird that is prized by the Emperor and trying to bring it back to the people that it was stolen from because it's a very religious type thing. So they're on this ship. They encounter Hondo and Naka, and Hondo, of course, he wants to get it for himself. And next thing you know, the Imperials, they are somehow... The ship has a bunch of other animals and they get loose. So this is all about Kane and Jarrus trying to use the force to tame the minds of the beasts so they don't kill him because they can't harm the animals because they're all endangered. So in other words, they by the end of this they get to the end and we see them get the prized bird back to wherever it came from. So just tell us a valuable lesson of, you know, endangered animals and whatnot. And, you know, it's a very Rebel-esque story, and I've, I'll say it again here. I said it in the last episode that I reviewed a Star Wars Rebel story from IDW Comics. Is It very much fits the bill for these type of stories in Star Wars Adventures. Heck, I think they could even spin out a story and just have an actual Star Wars Rebels comic that could just kind of span all the years throughout. I think it's been like three or four years during that Rebels time period. The other story that was in there is called... Gonk, and this is all about a Jawa on Tatooine, and the Jawa really likes this Gonk droid and, and forms an attachment with this droid, and you know it, it eventually learns this lesson of you know sometimes you got to give up what you love. I thought it was really interesting seeing a cameo of of C three PO and R two on that on the sand crawler, but yeah, it's it's a great story for you know the younger audience to learn lessons from these star wars adventurous comics so if you guys are trying to get your kids into star wars comics these idw star wars adventure comics are definitely a great way to start and finally the last thing that came out this week is star wars the last jedi on blu-ray and unfortunately i didn't get my hands on it yet i planned on picking it up today when i went to the comic book store and they ran out of the exclusive version at target uh, I should have just went there yesterday on Tuesday the day it came out. I thought I could wait a day, and of course, now that I thought I could wait a day, they ran out, right? So I hope to get that soon. From what I hear, it has a great amount of bonus features. It's got a commentary. You don't have to buy a 3D version to get it. It's got the a full-length documentary, which I hear is amazing. It's got tons of deleted scenes, and so much more so, I can't wait to pick that up. So that is going to do it for another episode of This Week in Star Wars Canon. What did you guys think of the Dr. Aphra? comic that came out this week and what about star wars adventures are you reading those let's talk about it in that comment section below if you're new to the channel welcome i have plenty of other star wars content and other content that i upload on a frequent basis so if you like this video make sure you go over there and subscribe so you never miss another video lately i've been doing a lot with star wars legion it came out last week it's a brand new miniature game by fantasy flight games and i'm painting a lot of these things because they come in gray so it's been a lot of fun getting back into that so if you guys like star wars legion i also have a couple videos pertaining to that on the channel right now so that is going to do it for me star raptor thank you for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.